Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna be decluttering everything in this drawer. So all of my liquid shadows, liners, liquid liners, pencil liners, individually packaged shadows, and miscellaneous, whatever is in here. <laughs> I think this is the section of my collection that's needed to declutter the most, just because I have so many things in here that I don't use, I don't like, and it's kind of a mess in here. And I just think this could be so much better organized. So I'm excited to get in here and actually start going through everything. And unfortunately, I hate to admit it, but a few of these I believe have dried out. So I do need to go through all of my liquid shadows as well. I will have my full declutters playlist up in the cards. I have quite a few declutters over the past couple of years. So that playlist is there if you ever feel like just sitting and binge watching a bunch of declutters. Which, you know what, I love having declutters just on in the background, so if you, if you guys like listening to this as a podcast, throw that playlist on 1.75 speed, listen to it while you're cleaning, or just doing errands and stuff, because that's definitely what I do. <laughs> okay, so, I don't, where should, where should we start? Where should we start? Um, I, I kind of just want to dump straight into here, because I know so much of this can go. So I think I'm going to pull everything out, and then as we put it back in, we'll declutter. Okay, so right out the gate, this can get decluttered because I didn't order this. <laughs> my boyfriend, Alvin, a while ago got a package from Amazon and this was just like thrown in there when he didn't order it. It's just a NYX eyebrow pencil. I've never opened it. It's still brand new. Someone can get really good use out of this. So I'm just going to declutter it and let that person, you know, use it. This, this is a product that I think I would also petty pan. This is the Blackest Black, the Blackest Black Star Liner from Natasha Denona. And to be quite frank, I really only use the black liner. I don't really use the glitter. You know, I feel like this is going to be on the chopping block. I'm realizing there's so many products in here that I want a petty pan, so I might be making my petty project pan into a rolling project pan. Which, if you missed that, I'll throw that video up in the cards. But I think I'm going to keep it for now. Another right off the bat, and I'm surprised I still have these, I have two ColourPop liners. I have a white and a yellow. And to be honest, they're just not good. They're not good liners, and I don't like them, so I'm finally decluttering them. All right, so I pulled all... Oh, no. Here. Now. I pulled all of my colored liners from NYX, and they're all from NYX. I'm obsessed with these ones, the Epic Wear liners. These are amazing. I want them in every color. I'm definitely keeping those. These ones, these pastel ones, they really don't show up as well in my waterline, which is where I want to wear them. So I'm going to declutter these two and keep these. These beautiful, beautiful colors. Oh, I found another ColourPop liner. I don't like it. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> So I pulled together all of my pencil, my brown eyeliner pencils here. So this is a mini from Sephora. I'm pretty sure I got it as a point perk or a free one and I have never even used it. Let's, that's pretty though. And it is a mini. I do like having minis because they are easier to use up. So I'm gonna keep that one. Let me, let me swatch these pixie ones. I do like these for my waterline. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, that's a beautiful fall color. Uh, I don't like that dark brown one. Okay, I'm gonna keep the copper, this dark brown one. It just looks kind of muddy and I like the other one better. So we'll keep the copper, get rid of this one. All right, this one's still like wrapped brand new. I don't think I've used it yet. This is the Shop Miss A AOA Studio Gel Eyeliner. So I, I don't feel good about decluttering that until I've actually used it. Down to these two, we have the Esquito liner that I did get in PR a while ago and the Imani liner that I got, I believe this was in a Tri Beauty box a while ago. So we've got that. Oh, that's falling out. I don't like that. Oh, okay, well, that's decided. So we're gonna get rid of this Esquito brown liner and this one. I do like how rich of a brown that is. So I think we'll keep this one. I only have one liquid brown liner, so by virtue of it being the only one, as long as it's like juicy, I'll keep it. Yeah. These are all of my white or nude liners. So I have two NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, which they're just really good. Like, and I have two of them because one is a matte pencil and then one has the shimmer to it, it's the white shimmer. And I do like both of these a lot. So I'm gonna keep those two. Over here this pixie one it's like just okay honestly I think I I could live without the pixie so I'm gonna declutter this pixie 
Oh, I have another NYX The Epic Wear one in white, which of course I'm going to keep. I love these liners. Now this Marc Jacobs one, again, this one I think is just okay. Like it looks really pretty here, but do I use it in my waterline? I mean, it looks really pretty. I think I'll, I think I'll keep this one for now. All right, moving on to black pencil liners. So I have quite a few here. I have a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I, I love that. It's a really good base too. So I'm gonna keep that. I need to clean these up, so I'll probably do that after this. Um, I have an AOA Studio in black, which is also fairly new. I haven't used it a whole lot, so I'm gonna keep that one. This, you know what, this lawn comb, I'm, ugh, I feel so torn about this because it's a nice liner. It's old as sin though. I think this is one of the first products I ever bought. And it's a pencil, so theoretically, as long as you sharpen it, it's sanitized. I don't know why it's just so hard for me to part with this, but if I should petty pan this just because I'm sick of seeing it. <laughs> okay, you know what, uh, yeah, so those are probably petty pan products. Uh, the Esquito Black Liner. Ooh, what the heck happened there? That dried out a bit. Ooh, I'm not a fan. Oh, this used to be such a good liner. I loved this. I gave it such a wave review, but like, I didn't know they could dry out. Uh, unfortunately. Oh, we're gonna get rid of that one. Now I have two minis. I have an actual mini of like the newer Lancome liner. This is what it used to look like. This is what it looks like now. <laughs> and it desperately needs to be sharpened. Oh, but that's really pretty and dark. Okay, so we'll keep that and I'll sharpen it. And then this is an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Oh, that's also really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep both of these minis. And again, I do love me some minis. Last but not least, we have our liquid black liners. So, looking here, I wasn't a huge fan of this pot liner from Shop Miss A, so I'm gonna go ahead and declutter this one. I'm not a huge fan of like pot liners in general. They're kind of annoying <laughs> to use, like this one. Uh, but yeah, I like the formula of the other liner from them better, so I'm gonna declutter this one. All right, let's see. Oh, I. I lied, I have a black, I think I have another brown liquid liner here from NYX. Black, this one, this one's brown, so let's see this one. Uh, I don't like that one as much. Let me declutter this NYX brown liner, and then we'll keep the black one, because the Epic Wear ink from NYX in black is like one of the best black liners. I love it. So we'll keep that one and throw it over here. All right, so we have the Shop Missé. I did like this one. This is the Artista liner from Shop Missé, and that, look how black that is. That is so pretty. So we're gonna keep that one. Now here we have, oh, I hated this liner. This is from Glamnetic. I got this in PR from them. And this is their pen tip liner for their lashes. And this, A, it's not a great liner, and B, it just doesn't work well for the magnetic. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna declutter this. And here we have a liner I got in a Tri Beauty box a while ago. It's like one half pen. It's a really pretty black though. And then the other half is like this rose gold kind of glitter, which is actually really pretty. So I think I'm gonna hold on to this as well. And I'm actually gonna have to go wash off my hand because a lot of those just stayed. So we'll be right back. Okay, let's go through this section first. I'm gonna take all this out and we'll go through it. Okay, let's start with these liners from Urban Decay. They're really pretty and I think that they're, they're still like juicy. Yeah, they're still good. So I'm gonna keep both of these. And I think I'm gonna rearrange it. I'm gonna put the liners over here and then do maybe some brow stuff here with a couple of single shadows and then do single shadows over here. This I'm ready to get rid of. This is the Pixie uh, Fairy Lights, I think, in green. This works terribly on my hooded lids, and I can really only use this for my inner corner highlight. And it's ridiculous to keep a whole product just to use for my inner corner sometimes. So this is gonna get decluttered. All right, I was sent this whole set of the AOA Studio Eyes on Me liquid liners a little while ago in PR, and I wasn't able to actually test all of them. I've only really tested the pink. And I think there was another color, but uh, all I have are these right now. So I'm gonna keep these, and I'm keeping them separate from the liners over here, just so I actually remember, like, to test them. 
So I'm gonna have those right there next to these glitter liners. All right, let's move on to like more liners and single shadows. This is controversial to me because I liked it at first years ago, didn't like it anymore, decluttered it, brought it back in, and now I, I have it and I haven't used it and I don't like it and I don't know why I kept it. So decluttering for realsies this time. <laughs> I have this color tattoo. Technically, it is a single cream shadow, but I use this for my brows, and I love it for my brows, so I am going to keep it. I have these two MAC paint pots in Painterly and Soft Ochre. These were, like, the bomb. Everyone used these for eye primers back in the day. And I got these during a 21 Days of Beauty a while ago, so they were $11 each. Um, and I'm gonna keep them. So I think these I'm gonna keep in the middle. We'll do those there. Some other eye primers. I have this Gerard Cosmetics one that I got in a Tri Beauty box. And honestly, I'm not a huge fan. It's really liquidy. And I like more of like an actual like cream. So I'm gonna declutter the Gerard and then the Crow and Pebble. There were two Crow and Pebble ones. Yeah, there's a white one and then there is a beige one. I'm gonna keep both of these. I like these. I was also sent all of these AOA Studio Buttercream cream shadows in PR and I've only been able to test like one or two. So I also need to test all of these before I make a decision. So I think I'm also gonna keep them over here. Let's just like make them look aesthetically pleasing so we can actually see. Also, it bugs me. Why do the rest of these have gray caps and this one, oh, it's a neon. Cause I was gonna say, I don't like that this is pink and the rest are gray, but this is, I guess, the neon and these are all metallics. So it bugs me still but we shall make it work okay moving on to like brow stuff i think i'm gonna put over here let me see what if we no i don't like that scoot those back release it yeah those will work okay so i've got some brow products and a nyx multitasker mixing medium which i think i'm just gonna keep and i think it's gonna go over here for now I have the Go Brow from Shop Missé. This is so much better than the original clear brow gel, and I love this. So I'm going to keep that. I have this brow gel, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like the other brow gel better. This is a tinted brow gel from Shop Missé. But I do, I don't know, I want to be able to like compare it to the other one when I eventually do my review roundup of those products. So I'll keep them. And then I've got two glitter glues, one from Shop Missé and then one from NYX. The Shop Missé one, it's... It's really hit or miss depending on what eyeshadow formula you're using with, so that's a little finicky, um, and I want to keep it for my review, and the NYX glitter glue is still my one and only. I, I love that glitter glue, so I'll keep that one. Okay, moving on to single shadows. I have this one from Tom Ford that I was gifted in PR through Influencer, and I love it. I'm actually about to like buy another one of these because they're really nice, actually, so I'll keep that one. All right, these were single shadows sent to me by my good friend Bougie Brie. Um, this is a Stila, which this is beautiful. I have to keep this. These are just some stunning greens right there. I'll put them under the Tom Ford. This is a L'Oreal loose shadow. Um, and I also, again, love the green. So we're going to keep this one. Now this NYX one, it's more of a teal, more of like a bluey shade. And I'm not a huge fan of it. And I haven't really used it all that much. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. All right, moving on. I have some samples of some Crow and Pebble loose shadows, and I love the formula. They're really nice, but I don't reach for these that often. So let me look. I'm going to try and, like, see what shades would I actually want to keep. Like, this yellow is really pretty, so I'll keep, like, the yellow. Let's see. There's, like, a mauve. There's, like, an orange. This one is just, like, a brown. I've got browns. Uh, again, this one's a brown. I've got browns. There's this purpley shade, which honestly, like, I've got purple in my Lila, and I've got purple. That's fine. This is more of, like, a burnt sienna. I think it would look pretty with the yellow. So we'll, we'll just keep those two. And last but not least, we have these loose shadows from Geek Chic Cosmetics. I have these two greens, which I have to admit, I do use the two greens more than, like, this red and this blue. So like this red and the blue, these are both from the Hannibal Lecter collection, the Hannibal TV series collection. I'm going to declutter those two and I'll keep these. I especially love this shade. It's such a pretty dark green, almost so dark it's black. And then this is actually a really pretty shade. It's also Cowboy Bebop themed. <laughs> so I'll keep these two. Just like that. 
oh my god i got rid oh no wait we're not done yet <laughs> all right let's go through the liquid shadows and to be quite honest i love all of these and don't want to get rid of them so i'm really only going to get rid of them if they're dried out and i think some of the cover girls are actually dried out which makes me very sad um but we're just going to go through and test all of them to make sure all right, thankfully all of our Natasha shades are still juicy. And actually, I one I completely used up and it dried out and I just rebought it. That's the shade Infra Nude. I think it's that one right there. So I do love those. I think these Stila's are old as hell. Oh, surprisingly, that one's not bad. So we'll keep that green one. I think this one is dried out. Oh, that's, yeah, that's dried out. Oh, okay. Well, bye-bye to the Stila Glitter and Glow in Yellow Tails. All right, moving on to the cover girls. I think some of these are dried out. Oh, what's that? Little glob. Oh, that's still really nice. Okay, we'll keep this one. Ooh, I can feel that one. That one's dry. Okay, the gold is going to have to go. That one's also dry. Okay, this one's going to go. Oh, the silver is still kicking. Keep the silver. Let's flip it so you can actually see the name. Put Stila. There we go. And we have our orange. Please still be juicy. Oh yeah, the orange is still good. That's gonna be awesome for the fall. <laughs> okay. And I think we have room now to put all of these single file. There we have it. My entire liner, single shadow, liquid shadow drawer, completely decluttered, and it, it just looks nicer. It's now full of products that I know I love and will use, and I'm very happy. <laughs> Especially this section. This section needed to be decluttered like months ago. And I'm so glad I finally got in and was able to get rid of all the fat there. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you thought of this declutter and all of these products. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Look at all my little swatches.